What's going on? This is Eric with Olympic Health Physics, and today we're going to be looking at an artifact. Welcome in. This is a first video in a series that we're going to be sprinkling uh, throughout this channel where we're going to be talking through image artifacts and showing examples. So this uh, first one is going to be an artifact that we're going to be looking at with a gamma camera. And your job is going to be to try to figure out what the artifact is on the image. We'll give you a, a few seconds here to take a look at the image and see if you can figure out what's going on with the image and with the system. Here we have an intrinsic flood image. This is done on a dual headed camera, but we're only gonna be looking at detector two. As I'm talking through the image, I want you to look at the image and see if you can find an artifact in this image. And if you can find the artifact, let's see if you can figure out what the artifact is and what's causing it. So again, this is just an intrinsic flood image, so collimators are pulled off. We did the image for 10 million counts in a 256 matrix using a tech point source, making sure to keep the count rate below 30K counts per second. And we have the source to detector distance or the, um, the distance between our point source and our detector is around five FOV. So we're, we're far enough away from, from the detector. Hopefully you've all had a chance to see where the artifact is at. Um, so if you see the artifact, uh, go ahead and raise your hand. Just kidding, that was a joke. You can't raise your hand, this is a YouTube channel. If you can find the artifact, you should see it down here, bottom left corner. And you can see some non-uniformities within the image. This is a fairly nondescript artifact. It doesn't have very um, defined or geometric uh, shapes to it, so we can rule out things like PM tubes. The next step in diagnosing the problem with this system is to do off-peak images. Off-peak images allow us to evaluate the, the gamma camera for things like PM tube imbalance or PM tube decoupling, as well as look at crystal hydration uh, on the uh, crystal itself. Here are the off-peak images. We have off-peak low and off-peak high. And if you've guessed crystal hydration, then you would be accurate. So this camera was displaying some crystal hydration that we saw um, over here with the nondescript non-uniformities. And further analysis of the camera with those off-peak low and off-peak high was able to confirm that we do have crystal hydration. Sodium iodide crystals are hygroscopic in nature, which means that they are gonna tend to absorb, absorb moisture and they can absorb moisture from the atmosphere. And the crystals themselves are hermetically sealed from the atmosphere to not allow air to get in. But if that seal becomes compromised or degrades in any way, then air, atmospheric air can enter into the crystal and create hydration. With the off-peak low and off-peak high images, we're able to shift the energy window down 10% to center on 126 keV and also shift it up 10% to image on 154 keV instead of the traditional 140 keV that we would image for tech. In the off-peak high images, you can see some of the PM tubes within the image. That's normal on off-peak images. So the fact that we're seeing PM tubes is not a concern. It's all of the gross non-uniformities that are really indicating that this crystal has been hydrated. We call this pattern a measles pattern because it appears as measles and it will continue to get worse or degrade over time as more and more air comes in and hydrates that crystal. What can you do to correct this issue? Well, there's only really two things that you can do. The first is to try to get rid 
of the non-uniformity on the corrected image. So this is an image with corrections applied, uh, like flood maps. You can try to create a new flood map to correct out the non-uniformity caused by the crystal hydration. However, over time, it's gonna get worse and worse and worse to the point that the system will no longer be able to correct for those non-uniformities because they will be so great. Once that happens, really the only solution is to replace the crystal which is going to mean replacing the entire detector head. And so there you have it. There's crystal hydration uh, that we see gamma camera image. If you were able to find the non-uniformity and able to diagnose the non-uniformity, let us know. We'd love to know if you were able to uh, pick it up before we talk through, through the actual problem. If you have other image artifacts that you would like for us to talk about, please let us know and we'd be happy to talk about other image artifacts. I hope this was a little bit fun for you to be able to walk through an actual problem with a uh, imaging system, diagnosing the problem and talking through what the corrective action would be.